Shields up, Paladins, and welcome to an Overwatch Hero Guide. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'll be talking to you all about Orisa and how I like to use this particular character. Orisa is one of the tank roles within Overwatch, as well as she has 200 health and 250 armor. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on over to her weapon and her abilities. The first thing we're going to talk about is her weapon, which is called Fusion Driver. The description is, Orisa's automatic projectile cannon delivers sustained damage, but slows her movement when she fires it. The aim type is a projectile. The damage of this weapon does 11. Spread angle is a constant 1.2 degrees. The movement speed is negative 30%. The projectile speed is 90 meters per second. The rate of fire is 12 rounds per second. You have 150 rounds per magazine. The reload time is 2.55 seconds. And of course you can receive headshots with this weapon. Now Orisa does not have a secondary fire for her weapon. So the first thing we're going to jump to is now her actual abilities. The first ability that we're going to talk about which is called Halt. So the description is, launch a Graviton Charge, which can be detonated with the same action. The, seer, the sphere slows and pulls nearby enemies to it. So of course the aim type, type is a projectile. The movement speed is 20 meters per second, which that would be the pull speed. The projectile speed is 20 meters per second. Area of effect is a 7.5 meter radius. Casting time is a 0.1 seconds for the launch in 0.45 seconds for the activation. The duration is a 0.65 seconds and that includes the snare and the cooldown of this is 8 seconds. So now this automatically activates upon, upon touching a surface. This can also manually be activated by pressing the, the same action key again. Enemies in range are pulled to the center and are briefly slowed for 0.65 seconds after activation. And the projectile itself goes through barriers, but the pull effect is blocked by them. The next ability that she has is called Fortify. So, the description is, Orisa temporarily reduces damage she takes and cannot be affected by movement and parrying effects. So, the type of course is an ability. Damage reduction is 40%, duration is 4 seconds, and cooldown is 10 seconds. Now, Orisa becomes immune to all movement-related crowd control effects, including stun, sleep, freeze, pin, knockdown, knockback, pull, slow, root, etc. Orisa can escape steel trap, graviton surge, and graviton or gravitic flux. Orisa takes no damage from charge and chain hook. Orisa can be hacked by Sombra while she is fortified, but this will not interrupt the ability. Allies behind Orisa are not protected by uh, by the abilities such as uh, Earth Shatter or Reptire. And armor is applied after damage reduction. So the tax consisting of 16.667 or lower damage, for an example, Sombra's Machine Pistol, are reduced by 7%. Beams are also reduced by 52%. The next ability that she has is called her Protective Barrier. The description is Orisa throws out a stationary barrier that can protect her and her allies from incoming fire. Of course, the aim type of this is an arching projectile. The shield health has 600. Projectile speed is 25 meters per second. Duration is 20 seconds and the cooldown is 10 seconds. So the cooldown begins immediately after the, after the protective barrier is, uh, is called out. The, uh, project, the projectile ignores defense, matrix, deflect, and kinetic grasp. The barrier is shaped like a football net. Uh, the barrier extends slightly below uh, where it is deployed, just in case if it's on a ledge or, or on a payload. Uh, and also the barrier can be deployed without inter interrupting the fusion driver's reload. And finally, her ultimate ability, which is called Supercharger. The description, of course, on this is Arisa deploys a device to increase damage inflicted by allies within her line of sight. So the health is 200, the damage is 150, uh, or I'm sorry, the damage is plus 50% damage boost, area effect is a 25 meter radius, 
and casting time is one second duration is 15 seconds and the ultimate cost is 1680 points now Arissa passively generates 1% alt charge for every 3.36 seconds enemy barriers break the line of sight the effect lingers for one second if line of sight is broken or if the player is out of range and this can be hacked by Sombra, which disables it for 10 seconds. So that's all of her abilities and her weapon in the descriptions and all that fun stuff. So the actual strategy or the actual strength or weakness that I would say Arissa has, and she's got a lot of strengths for one. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, Arissa is what I would consider to be almost like an anchor tank. She's one of those people that, or that's really you know the, her team will get the most benefit when grouping or coordinating around her the fusion driver's cannon shell is a projectile on one hand and it has travel time but on the other hand it has a damage fall or it has no damage fall off so this makes it useful against enemies at long range providing that you as the player can properly lead the shots if the enemy is moving now her protective barrier is best used on checkpoints and, and also to suppress enemies. Orissa can use Halt to pull enemies out of position or coordinate with the allies abilities to force the enemy into a vulnerable position that will lead to their deaths. Much like Zarya's ultimate Graviton Surge, Fortify really has no down, downside to it apart from being a hard counter uh, by Roadhog's whole hog. She can freely use it to increase her tanking power. Her supercharger also increases the damage output of her and her allies, but the device itself can be destroyed, so that's also one of the weaknesses to her. But with all this being said, Orissa has a strong front facing defense, but as she is very, very weak to flankers who can get behind her due to her low mobility. Considering that her barrier is a non movable object unlike Reinhardt's and that her weapon can't attack multiple foes at a close range she is very very vulnerable when surrounded or being attacked from other angles as she is a fairly large target target and her combined health with her barrier is less than Reinhardt she is very very vulnerable to be taken down by a heavy damage dealer or a sniper who can pick her off at extreme range so that would be how I would like to use Arissa in a nutshell. Um, stay behind the barrier as much as you can. That's pretty much the, about the gist of it. Also have a team that is uh, that understands that you have a strong, a strong uh, forward game, but a very, very weak rear. Um, whenever someone can flank you, as in Reaper, uh, Genji, or many other characters that can outflank Arissa. Um, and also whenever she gets surrounded as she can only focus down one target at a time. Now, you can also use Halt, uh, specifically if you're playing with a group of people or just a buddy. You know, you can use Halt to go ahead, suck them out. Maybe they're hiding behind a wall or anything like that. You know, use Halt to get them out of the way. Ryan Hart can do his, um, his uh, hammer, hammer down, his earth shatter is what it is. Uh, or, you know, you can just get them out of the... Get them behind cover and let the team vote for some down. Uh, that's one of the great things about about halts. Also, if you're good enough, you can also use halts to pull enemies off and get some environmental kills uh, as well. So that is always a plus there for that. So that's kind of how I would use Orissa in a nutshell. Is that you know I usually like to play. Of course, you're, you're a tank. You're supposed to be up there in front, uh, but also. I kind of like to try to corner myself a little bit or have a corner that I can run to uh, to kind of watch, you know, make sure I can't get flanked, you know, when everyone is in front of me. Now, there's only so much you can do whenever there are so many people in front of you as Arissa, but the kicker with her is that she, since her weapon doesn't have any fall off damage, you can pretty much be almost, almost deadly as a sniper with her, with how pinpoint that she can be. So hopefully I answered a lot of questions, comments, concerns as Arissa, and if I did, definitely drop a like. If I didn't, leave a comment down below on what uh, you think something that I missed is, and I'll definitely reply back as quick as I can. So thank you guys, and hope you enjoyed the video, 
and I'll see you in the next one.